Hello again everyone, this is Noel and this is the fifth video in a series of videos covering the production of wedge riveted mail or chain mail. This video covers drifting tools. In front of us are a collection of nails and the question is, which one of these nails is suitable for modifying into a drifting tool? Well, the question's unfair because you can't really tell just by looking at a nail which ones are going to be suitable and which ones won't be. You would have to have a basic understanding of steel compositions uh, and that is outside the, the, the scope of this video so I'm not going to do that today I'm just going to move these nails aside and I'm going to show you these two nails instead so these are my drifting tools and these nails are made of bright steel uh, they're more expensive than the other nails I showed you um, and they're harder than the other nails as well and today I'm going to show you how I actually make these when I started off making them I would use a metal hand file uh, like this one and I would grind the nail until I had them in a shape that resembled that okay so I've tapered the end of this nail into a point Unfortunately, that takes a lot of energy, okay, um, and it's also very painful, and it also means that you've you, you're getting uh, things like you know uh, dust particles, you know you're breathing that in, um, you're getting particles in your eye, uh, you're getting particles stuck in your skin, and then it takes a few days for it to. Uh, grow its way back out again um, so eventually I, I give up using a hand file and I upgraded to something a bit more industrial uh, currently I'm using a bench grinder to make these a Dremel might be one option uh, but I wouldn't recommend it uh, because I think that the attachments for a Dremel would probably wear away very quickly if you intend on making these. I think you would really want something a bit bigger than that and that's why I chose a bench grinder. And I'm going to bring you over to the bench grinder and we're going to make one of these. Okay, so this is my bench grinder. Uh, this one is a little bit more powerful than what I really needed. Unfortunately, it was the only one they had in stock. Uh, but before we get using it, there are a few safety uh, precautions that we have to take. Uh, first of all, we're going to need some safety glasses or, or goggles. We're going to need a dust mask. A pair of gloves would be sensible.
Okay, so I'm going to turn the grinder on now. I'm going to take a nail and I'm going to start grinding it in the shape.
Okay, and that is uh, it's it's very close to to what I need. Uh, it should do the job okay. Obviously, I, I won't know until I go and actually test it on a few rings, and then um, if it does need further adjustment, then I might just use a hand file to 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 make those minor adjustments. Obviously, not everyone can afford a bench grinder. Um, Dremels are quite expensive as well. Um, some people won't have a place to put a bench grinder either. Uh, doing this by hand with a hand file, like I said before, it, there is quite an awful lot of energy expenditure involved. It is quite painful. So if you would rather have someone else um, make these for you then that can be arranged if you contact me it would cost you the um, price of the nails the postage and a very minor fee to cover the wear and tear to my grinding wheels um, but if if you prefer that idea then by all means call me or contact me on YouTube or Facebook and I'll send a set out to you. So that ends today's video. Um, next up we will be looking at um, actually using these to drift holes in the rings we made in an earlier video and also uh, riveting the rings as well. Thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day. Bye bye.